Steve. You are all very welcome to Sound Secrets. My name is Zita and I'm part of Moonfish Theatre Company. In these workshops, we're going to dive into the world of Foley. But what is Foley? Let's show you an example. Did you notice the foley? No? Okay, let's take a look at that same piece again, this time without the foley. How about that time? Yes, it's about sound. Foley is the art of reproducing everyday sound to add to film or video to make the scene sound more realistic. Like the sound of a cup being placed on a table. Let's try that again. Hmm, that's more like it. Or perhaps a knock at a door. One moment. No one there. But that was so realistic. At the end of our journey together, you will have created your own Foley sound effects, created your own soundscapes, and recorded scenes from real radio plays. But where do we start? At the start, of course. Foley is named after a man called Jack Foley. That's me. I began working with Universal Studios in 1914. That's after motor cars were invented and before mobile phones. What are they anyway? Sound and film was only just coming into use and the microphones at that time were not good enough to pick up the background sound in a scene. So I went around and recorded lots of different sounds that could be added to the movie to match the picture on the screen. So let's get started. Today we are going to learn more about Foley, experiment with some Foley objects and add our own Foley to some silent video clips. In order to do this, let's look at how and why we use Foley. We need Foley because of the way that microphones work. This microphone can hear me because I'm close to it, but the further away from the mic I am, the harder it is for the mic to record. Some objects are too far away for the mic to record. On the other hand, some sounds are too loud. And they can make it And they can make it hard for the mic to hear anything else. Let's say we're on a film set and the actors are filming a scene in a busy cafe. Thank you. 
The background sounds like the sound of the cash register opening or the door closing. Might be too far away for the microphone to record, but the sound of the coffee machine might be a bit too loud. The most important job for the sound person is to pick up the spoken words of the actors and all those other background sounds can be added later using Foley. Foley is also used in live theatre shows. Let's say an actor has to walk through a creaking door. The actor could mime that action while the Foley artists on stage would find a sound that can help the audience imagine that the door is opening but also hear the door creaking. There are a lot of really good sound recordings that are available on YouTube and other websites that have great recordings that could be used if you were making a film or a radio play. However, there's something really different about listening to a play on the radio and knowing that those sounds were not pre-recorded but were created live by a person and performed at the same time as the actors. This is why Moonfish love to use Foley in some of our performances. It really adds to the magic. I should also say we can use our voice to create sound effects as well. Let's take the example of the creaking door. The actor might perform that themselves. <laughs> Maybe you could have a go at performing your own creaking doors using your voices. And you can also use body percussion. So let's imagine that we're listening to a heartbeat through a stethoscope. and the person's getting really excited about something about to happen. There are no rules to say what you can or can't use to create Foley sound effects, but before we get into all that, let's warm up. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and make sure that you have as much room as possible. Great, so we're gonna start by stretching up up to the sky, lovely, keep your shoulders down. Stretch the, the tip of your fingers right up and dig your heels into the ground so you feel that nice stretch in your back. And bring the arms down, lovely, and shoulders up and down and all the way around and shoulders up and down and all the way forward and all the way back and all the way forward. And elbows, two, three, four, other way, two, three, four, and our wrists, two, three, four, and other way, three, four, and fingers, two, three, four, other way, two, three, four, and shake. Let's do that again, it felt good, didn't it? Shake, lovely. Now, let's imagine we're standing in front of a fruit tree, and you're gonna pick your favorite fruit, so we're gonna stretch up this way and pop the fruit in the basket. We're gonna stretch up and pop the fruit in the basket. Nice and slowly, lovely. And now we're gonna go the other way. Stretch up, over to the basket. Up, feel the nice stretch, over to the basket. Last one, up and into the basket. And shake out, lovely. Now. Let's warm up our faces. Gently pat your face, really gently. Look at all those beautiful faces. Lovely. And pat the top of your head. Hello, I'm waking up. I bet you're all awake though. And down to the back of our head. Lovely. Coming down. Lovely. And now I want you to imagine that you're eating lemons really bitter uh, and we're tigers <sighs> eating lemons and we're tigers <sighs> eating lemons tigers <sighs> and now you're a tiger and you're eating a lemon <laughs> well done everyone great work now let's create a rhythm together so stand where you are and have a listen
Could you all hear that rhythm develop? Let's break it down so that we can create that together. So the first step is boom, clap, boom, cha, 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 click. Boom, clap, boom, cha, 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 click. Let's try that together. Boom, clap, boom, cha, 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 click. Boom, clap, boom, cha, 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 click. Good, boom, clap, boom, cha, 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 click. Good, boom, clap, boom, cha, 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 click. Again, boom, clap, boom, cha, 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 click. Stay in rhythm everyone. Let's slow it down again. Great. Lovely. Well done everyone. Lovely work so far. Now we're going to create a storm together. So I'm going to divide everybody into three groups. Maybe your teacher can help with this. Group one are going to be the wind. So can I have hands up for group one? Uh, thank you teacher for helping. Hands up for group two. You're going to be the rain. Thank you Moonsor. And group three, you're going to be the thunder. Great. Thank you, Moonsor, for your help there. Group one, the wind. I'm going to conduct you. So you're going to follow my lead. And when I'm down like this, this means you're going to be doing the wind sound, but very quietly. And the louder I want you to go, the higher I raise my hands. Kind of like a conductor of an orchestra. But who's going to conduct the rain? I will. Let's start off really lightly with the rain and I'll direct you through. But who's going to do the thunder? I will. Okay, folks, we're going to take care of thunder. Thunder comes in quickly and it leaves quickly. So watch me. I'm going to give a countdown. Three, two, one. And we're going to go. And then back again. Watch me for your cue. Are you ready? Let's go. bad. I should have taken in the clothes. Oh. Wait, it's, it's starting to ease off, I think. Getting a bit lighter. A little bit lighter. It's only drizzling now. The rain's cleared off. Amazing. Now that we've warmed up, let's get started on some Foley. So, now that we know a little bit more about Foley, what it is and why we use it, let's have some fun experimenting. I'm now going to show you a silent video clip. And while we're watching it, I want you to make a list of all the sounds you think you should hear.
So, what did you all see? What did you think we should hear? Let's watch it again and then we'll break it down together. First of all, we see someone sitting in their car. Are they breathing loudly or quietly? Are they singing? Are they talking? Are they laughing? Next, we see them put their hand on the door handle and they open the door. Next, they put their foot on the ground and they get out and they close the door. They drop their keys, they pick them up, and they walk away from the car. Your teacher will now place some Foley objects in front of you. In your groups, I'd like you to experiment using these objects to try and match the sound of the object to the film clip. And don't worry if your Foley objects don't match the film perfectly. We're not interested in getting the perfect sound right now, but what we are interested in doing is seeing what sounds these objects can make and how we can use them. Your teacher or facilitator will play this clip as many times as you need so that you can experiment. Ma Shiv, well done. Here is a different clip. Like before, write down a list of all the things that you think you should hear while the clip is playing. Then find a Foley object to match the sound that you see on the screen. And don't forget, you can use your voice or body percussion to create sounds as well. When you're finished experimenting, your teacher or facilitator will ask you to do the sound effects while they play the clip so that we can all see what sounds you've created.
Well done, everyone. Ma Shiv. Before we go, let's remember what we did today. We learned all about Foley, what it is and why we use it. And you experimented with your own Foley objects and created sounds to match some silent video clips. Amazing. We're on the road to becoming fantastic Foley artists. I'll see you next time for part two of Sound Secrets. Good day, Kate or Ella. Sloan.